When we are creating space, it's really important that we set our agreements. Our agreements set our intention because when you have 2,000 natives up in a space, we want to make sure we're being respectful, that we're engaging in a way that allows us to listen, be heard, and have an amazing time. And so for us, we have been using these dialogue agreements in all that we do, even when we're with Governor Walker and his cabinet, it doesn't really matter the audience. We like to use these to set the tone. Um, so just briefly here uh, on our handy dandy pen, um, we will get going. Our first agreement is always in every chair a leader. In every chair a leader. The fact that you're here today demonstrates that you've made important decisions in your life that got you to this place. Every single one of you have leadership qualities, potential, and action. Mm -hmm. Being here, it's not a passive space. Being here, you had to wake up, you had to demonstrate an interest, you had to step into a leadership role. And so when I, when I greet you and when I see you, I see you as a leader. And that's what we're holding up in this space. Our next agreement is speak to be understood and listen to understand. And I think this agreement is really about the intention that we bring into the space, the intention that we're going to carry with us throughout this day. You know, it's, it's really a, a, an honor to be in this space with people from so many different regions and think about how many ancestors we have in this room. And so there's a lot of value when we listen to each other and when we, when we come into this space willing to learn from each other. And that's what this agreement is asking you to do. The next two, be present and engaged and value our time together. This is a recognition that time goes by quickly. Mm -hmm. And if you're here and you're doing a lot of engaging and talking and sharing, it's a reminder that there's also other people. You want to value their time. So share and then step back and create space for others. Because if you're doing all the talking, you're not doing any learning, right? So this agreement is about being really present, putting our phones away as much as we can, mm -hmm. not thinking about the weekend, just thinking about being here with us and, and what's being shared and all the magic that's going to happen in your dialogues. Mm -hmm. And that magic can't happen if we don't each take on the responsibility of making this a safe space for meaningful conversation. And so what that means is that as people are sharing, we want to make this a space where people feel like they can bring their full selves, um, their, their full selves into, the, into, this, into this room. And what that means is we honor what people share and we don't attribute what people shared um, by name. You know? So if, if Agathluk shares something from her heart in this space, then I'm not going to go around and share it uh, with other people unless I ask her permission first. So that's one of the ways that we make this a safe space for everyone to feel comfortable sharing. Our next agreement, you'll see it says challenges with an arrow towards solutions. I think we all know there's a lot of challenges facing our people in our communities. And we need to learn, we need to address those challenges and we need to learn from them but we don't want to create a space where we start spiraling and it feels too heavy, it feels too impossible, right? We want to address the challenges, but we want to be thinking forward. We want to be thinking about what we can do, what kind of solutions we can come up with. And that's the intent, forward thinking, positive momentum. What are we going to do about it? And so this next agreement is also about bringing some of those solutions forward. And we know there's a lot of brilliance in this room. And so we ask that you take your hat off, takest thou hat off. That doesn't mean take your literal hat off. It means, though, that we invite you to bring your full self into this space. You know, don't just come here as a, as a tribal member or as a parent or as a, as a youth. Um, come here and bring all of your different identities into the space. And um, then when we have your brilliant selves, we'll be able to get to those, from those challenges to those solutions. Our value of humor helps us. Sometimes we, um, 
We need to talk about and identify conversations that are hard, right? And while we're doing that, it's okay to also, um, when it's appropriate, laugh together. Sometimes there's healing that comes through laughter, that comes from joking. I know when I'm traveling across our communities, that's one of the signs of wellness that I see when people are being teased and they have teasing nicknames and there's laughter. I know I'm in a, a, I'm in a place of wellness. It's a place of connecting. And so we wanna welcome our value of humor. It's a native value that I think it's, it's allowed us to be here as long as we have. And we will get out of this experience what we put into it. And so this next agreement is we are responsible for our experience and we're responsible for our collective experience. And so this, is, this really ties into what we were asking you to do earlier, to be present and be engaged and listen fully. Um, and if we, if we do that, then not only, are we all, not only are we having a good experience individually, but we're collectively having a good experience. So let's be sure to, um, let's be sure to bring our full selves into this space. And finally, we ask that we take care of yourself and take care of each other, right? While we are here, this Denina Center, we rent the whole building for all of you. And so while we're here, we want to make sure everyone feels really taken care of. If someone looks lost or they've lost their parents or their chaperone, let's make sure we're helping them out. If there's an elder who needs water, or maybe they need a tissue, or maybe they need some lunch. You know, we're building community. That's what this is about. This conference is about you all. It's about building community, making you feel safe and welcome and loved up. And so we'll do our best to make sure you feel taken care of. And uh, we call on each of you to also help in those roles. When you need to ante, go ahead and ante. Do these sound like good, good agreements? Can we ask you all to um, uphold these agreements? Yeah? Should we get a yes? Okay, it sounds like we're all, it sounds like we're all on the same page. Can I ask you all to help uphold these agreements with each other too? Yes? Okay. Arigatou. Koyanakpap. <laughs>